George Weiss, the CTO of RatchetSoft. Today I'd like to demonstrate how RatchetX can be used to solve a very common problem. First, let's define the problem. Often a user is running multiple applications on their desktop that each contain information about the same subject, let's say customers. Being two different applications, they have no knowledge of each other and require that the user navigate to the customer record independently in each. This problem is widespread and it is an example of the stovepipe anti-pattern. According to the classic IT book, Anti-Patterns, a stovepipe system is a system procured and developed to solve a specific problem, characterized by a limited focus and functionality, and containing data that cannot be easily shared with other systems. Take these two applications, for example. Okay, on the left, I have my CRM, a Windows-based contact manager that contains customer contact information. And on the right, I have my document management system. In this case, it's a web-based document management product called Image Silo from Digitech Systems. In it are all my customer correspondence. Both systems contain information about our customers, but they are each unaware of the other and cannot be easily integrated. So let me show you the problem. What I'd like to do is I'd like to go and look up a customer and based on some information in his contact record, I want to then go look at customer correspondence that he may have sent in. And this is all to get some task accomplished. So I'll choose File Open. I'm going to type in the name of the customer I'm interested in. Active Customers. Click Search. I found the right customer. I click OK and we're brought to the customer contact record in my CRM. Well, in order to complete my task, I also need to look at any correspondence that they may have sent. To do that, I'm going to go to my image silo application where we store all of our documents, and I'm going to search for the same customer. Now, as you can see, this may already feel a little bit redundant. I'm looking for only urgent correspondence, those that were sent to P.O. Box 890. I hit enter and my document management shows me that I do have a correspondence that's urgent and if I double click on it, it will bring it up to view. Okay, so let me move this window over here a little bit. Great, so now I have the data that I need in the contact management system and I have the document that I can read uh, that's the correspondence from this customer. And as you can see, there was a little bit of redundancy in there, and that's really the problem. The fact that these two systems um, have share a common subject, yet the context of one application, the specific record that I'm on, is no way uh, helping the other application to show the right correspondence. So let's show you how RatchetX can solve that problem. We call the solution the jump to pattern. It's where RatchetX is used to add a button to each system that when clicked will perform whatever user interface automation is required to synchronize the other application based on the context of the first application. Let me load RatchetX so we can see this in action. So RatchetX loads down here in the Windows system tray and when it's fully loaded it will scan the desktop and see that it has two windows that it recognizes and it'll place the magic buttons there. Let me show you what these ma magic buttons hold. Well I have a couple of jump to actions that I can perform here. Jump to image silo for all correspondence. Now this action will load image silo and it will navigate to whatever correspondence are available I'm right-clicking to show you the underlying fields that it's attached to. Uh, it'll navigate to the correspondence associated with that customer name. The second action will do something similar. It'll load image silo and it will navigate to urgent documents that are associated with it. The distinction there is that they're coded a certain way. Those documents went to a certain P.O. box. Okay. Now, in image silo itself, it's the reverse. 
So Image Silo has a button that says, hey, I can jump back to my CRM and navigate to the record called called Oscar Matasox, which is the customer that's seen right-clicking right down here. This is where we're getting the information about what the current customer context is. So in either case, we have a one-click way of navigating to the other application and setting its context appropriately. Let me shut down Image Silo and show you how this might work. We'll start by doing a jump to. We'll jump to Image Silo for all correspondence. So if I click on that, the action runs, it loads the browser, it navigates to Image Silo, provides username and password, and brings us to all document, all correspondence associated with this particular customer. Pretty cool. Now let's take a look at Jump to Image Silo for Urgent only. Well, this is a little bit different. This action will load Image Silo, but in this case, it will bring me to the documents themselves, not to a list of all of the documents associated. It'll bring me just to an urgent document. In this case, the action runs, and it brings me automatically to the urgent document that's associated with this customer record. Okay? Now, if I you take a look here, the jump back would bring me, would use the information that it's scraping the screen right here. It's taking the customer record from here, and it has the ability to navigate us back to my CRM and bring us to that context. So let me shut down my CRM and see how this might happen in reverse. Starting from here, if I run this action, it loads my CRM, chooses File Open, enters the name of the customer that it seeks, finds the customer, selects it, and brings me right to that record. Okay? So in both cases, we refer to that as a jump to. This is a bi-directional jump to, where you can jump from the contact management system right to a specific document, or from a specific document right back to the contact management system. This pattern is referred to as the jump to pattern, and we find it very useful in many scenarios. It's especially useful in document management integrations. With RatchetX, it's easy to create these jump to actions, so you can jump from anywhere. Let me shut down my CRM. I'll also shut down my document management application. Let me bring up my CRM for web which is a browser-based version of the same MyCRM contact manager. Well, you'll notice we have a button here. So from this application, I have the same choices. So I can jump to Image Silo uh, and get all correspondence or just jump to Image Silo uh, and display an urgent document. Let's do that. There we go. So now we're looking at the urgent documents that we have available in Image Silo from the web-based application. And lastly, I've set up the same type of a jump to from a mainframe screen. So here's the MyCRM application, the main mainframe version, and we have obviously the context information here, the same customer information is available. And we have one thing that's different, um, to fulfill the promise I had in the very beginning, the user would want a one-click means of jumping to those documents. So here I've set up a what we refer to as a magic button override, so I can just click this once and with a single click be brought to the documents that are associated with it. Okay? Well, that's the demo that I wanted to show, and I'm hoping to provide a demo of how to build this for those of you who, who are interested in a deep technical view, it really didn't take long. This is about an hour to put together this demo. And I think it'll take about an hour to explain it. And I'm going to be providing that in the next couple of weeks. Thank you for your attention.